folks, this is Jay. Welcome to Sneak Peek. And today with me, yes, you nailed it, Nicole. Thank today you. with me, I have Nicole, who is a staff product designer at Firefox. And what I want to cover in today's video is something that a lot of you have been asking me. And it's a topic that's not usually talked about. How should designers create exec presentations? So when you do the design work, then you have to create some kind of presentation on it to present to leadership. How do you go about it? So in this video, I want to like focus on that with you, Nicole. Like when, when you had to create this exec presentation, what was the main thing running in your mind? Like what, what do execs care about? Yeah, I think it's a really good question. And um, so it took me a moment to kind of like get to that point. Uh, but what I learned is that execs just care about what are we actually shipping in the end. So the quicker you can get to the actual designs, the better it is. As you can see, I, I actually have like two slides that I even didn't even talk about. So previously I was like, okay, let's just talk about design principles should let's just give like context so that um you know uh, they understand kind of like where we're coming from and everything and then all the work we did but in the end kind of like what people care about is what are we shipping and so kind of like where we just to give you a quick overview so kind of like where we ended up here is that we just give like very very brief product context then we go right into the specific surfaces and then we have like a bit of an appendix where we can put all our design principles and research and contacts and everything you want to put in there because then, you know, it's there on demand, but you don't need to spend any time during the presentation with that because also, you know, time is of the essence if you if you talk to leadership people um, and you just want to get your point across really quick. So we just have like a uh, job to be done just to frame it a bit. Right. So in this case, when I use Firefox mobile, I want the browser to clearly communicate its value, consistently delight me with an efficient and intuitive experience and help me. But why even keep this? Yeah. I mean, this is just... Like, why not skip the jobs to be done? We could even skip that. But as you can see, I already skipped two slides. So I was like, you know, just have one, one, a bit of like a framing there. So just to anchor people in a bit of like a strategic approach. I think that's also kind of like... I wouldn't, I wouldn't erase it completely. I mean, maybe, maybe a future me would do that, be like, you know, just get to the designs. But in this case, I just left it in here. And then I have like an overview of like the screens we're looking at. So these are like the, the core surfaces that we redesigned for Android. I have an overview of like, kind of like the specific surfaces that belong to the onboarding, just to give people an overview. And then we have, I think these are the key screens, kind of like, where are we coming from? What does it look today? And then we have like a small walkthrough of where we are going. So, and this gives a presenter like a good opportunity to just explain the prototype and explain what uh, what the user is going to experience. It, it also is a great opportunity for storytelling. So you could just, um, you know, give it a bit more context. So this is... Um, question. Yeah. So question I have here for you is, I love, by the way, I love that you have embedded the video walkthrough in Figma slides. The question I have is before this video walkthrough, you had some static screens that you showed leadership. So why show both like static screens and like a video walkthrough? Why not just show like a video walkthrough? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like for one, repetition is key. And also kind of like you can always go back to the static view if people are like, you know, in a like, wait a moment, what happened here was like a uh, setting address bar, right? Or what about the copy with sync? You know, when people have feedback or questions to specific screens, it's always helpful to have them static laid out on, on one. And then you also repeat it. So people see what's coming. Then they see it in, in action and can enjoy it much more. And that's kind of like basically what we do with all the surfaces. Then we have like homepage new tab. As you can see here, sometimes we not only have our current version, but also like our core competitors version next to it, just to remind people, this is where we are coming from. This is what others are doing right now. And this is what we are doing. So I think that kind of like frames it nicely. 
uh, especially because, you know, Firefox is such a utility. So we always, it's not like people, they, they just need a reason. So it's always good to have a very close eye to our competitors. And then here's also like a quick link into the design and prototype, but I mean, no one is really. Well, why have that? Yeah, it's kind of like it's. I think that's just mainly for kind of like other designers or kind of like product people who, because we, you know, we we don't create like decks for every stakeholder, but we try to reuse stuff. So I think that's kind of handy for product people to just have like a quick link into the actual Figma files. Something I noticed in this entire deck. It's mostly just pictures. There's hardly blocks or paragraphs of text. I really love that. Why is it like you don't have paragraphs of text anywhere? Like it's just title and then just images and videos. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's kind of like what, what we saw. You know, it, it saves everyone time. If you have like anything important that you want to mention, you can have it in the talk track or you can put it in the appendix. As you can see, there is much more like stuff with, with text and so on. And, and that's kind of like what it's all about, right? The design. So we put it very prominently here on the, on the screen. And then, and that's all people actually need to know. They, they see kind of like, what is it today? Where are we going? And that's the call. What do you want to communicate? Yeah. I noticed you don't even have any photos, unnecessary photos about the design team, the design process, all of these things you straight up opening slide the agenda, and then literally on the fourth slide, you're like, these are the designs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, you know, imagine you, you are an executive, right? You have so much things to do and consider. So I think people appreciate it if you get to the gist of it right away. You know, it's kind of like who worked on that or what's the context or, you know, what's the process. Then in that moment, doesn't really matter. It's just, what are we shipping? So the quicker you can get to that, the better it is, I would I would say. Perfect. Thank you so much, Nicole, for coming on Sneak Peek and showing our viewers how to design exact presentations. Yeah, thank you, Jay, for having me. Hey, this is Jay. It means the world to me that you watch this video. If you want to unlock the AI design and growth to design interviews with designers at some of the top companies in the world, then head on over to sneakpeek.design and subscribe to the newsletter.